I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on thermodynamics. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author and creator of the Dat Destroyer and Orgo Man products. I want to go over a really solid question with you. I'm going to actually combine organic chemistry and I'm going to combine gen chemistry into one problem and let's see what you guys think. Take a look. What I have here is a reaction of 2-butanone. And what I'm going to do is to treat the 2-butanone with chlorine base in aqueous medium and then finally acidify it. Anytime you have a methyl ketone in base, you are going to do a reaction known as the haliform rea reaction. So what I'm going to do is to take off this group. I actually did a video on the mechanism of this reaction where you might want to go to the organic chemistry library and take a look at the video that I did on the haliform reaction. But what I did is I removed this group and then put an OH group in it after I hydrolyze it. And that will take me from 2-butanone into propanoic acid. And then my byproduct would be, in this case, chloroform. And what I want to do is to take this final product, chloroform, and I want you to find its melting point for me in degrees Celsius. And I give you the thermodynamic values, the delta H being 9.2 kilojoules per mole, and the delta S 43.9 joules per mole Kelvin. The minute you see a problem involving delta H and delta S, you first write up the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation, delta G is delta H minus T delta S. Remember, the delta G is the criteria, the number one criteria to tell if a reaction is spontaneous. Now, here's the gimmick to this question. If you see the word melting point, boiling point, freezing point, this is an equilibrium point. And equilibrium, the delta G is equal to zero. So what I'm going to do is to set the G equal to zero, bring the T delta S to the other side, and then divide through on delta S, and I get T equals the delta H over the delta S. Let's stay in kilojoules. So we're going to use 9.2. 43.9 joules is 0439. You moved it over three places. You got to get it into kilojoules. And your numbers on the DAT will work much nicer. But I get 209.6, and because this is in Kelvin, that means that this answer is in Kelvin. So you got to be careful. We want the question in Celsius. So what I then do is say the Kelvin is Celsius plus 273, subtract 273 from both sides, and we get minus 63.4 degrees Celsius for the melting point of chloroform. I hope this gives you some insight into how I did a reaction involving melting points and thermodynamic data. I'll see you in study group. Good day to you.